apply it to the induction hob. It'll be as good as new without scrubbing. When the induction hob is dirty, there's a simple solution. Stains, streaks, and even burnt spots will disappear as if by magic. Just use two products that you surely have in your bathroom. Take shaving foam and apply it to the induction hob. A few strips are enough. Also, use toothpaste. Squeeze it in a few places. Toothpaste makes cleaning many surfaces easier. It also removes greasy stains and disinfects. This simple trick will deal with dirt on the glass surface of the induction hob. See how easy it is? It looks strange, but it really works. Shaving foam is often recommended for removing various stains. After all, it's a certain type of soap. So it's perfect for cleaning delicate surfaces. Cover the induction hob with cling film. Do it carefully. Once the film covers the induction, press the foam with toothpaste firmly. These two products will mix and cover the entire surface. Leave the induction hob like this for a few minutes. The foam with toothpaste will work during this time. Then spread the white foam again. Remove the film and throw it away. Collect the rest of the mixture with a paper towel. You don't have to scrub anything. All the dirt will come off with the foam. Finally, wipe the hob dry and it's done. It will be shiny and clean as new. See and evaluate the difference. Shaving foam with toothpaste is indispensable in this case. Do you also have a problem with white stains on a black sink? Most people who buy such a sink have no idea how to take care of it. White marks don't come off even after washing with dish soap. But an indispensable solution in such a case turns out to be one inexpensive product. Everyone has it in the kitchen cabinet, and it turns out it should also be next to the sink. Then, white deposits from water will never mar your kitchen. Apply a simple trick, and in a few minutes, you'll get rid of the problem. Here's how to deal with it. Take a bottle of vinegar and pour it into a spray bottle. Then spray the sink surface where there are white spots. Do it thoroughly and generously. Place pieces of paper towel on the damp sink and spray vinegar again. It's important for the paper towels to be completely wet. This way, the vinegar won't evaporate and it will work longer, removing the white spots. Leave the paper for several minutes. In just a few minutes, you'll see that the white marks disappear. After a dozen or so minutes, remove the paper and see the difference. There will be no trace of lime deposits. The black streaks and spots will be a thing of the past, and you can enjoy a perfectly clean black sink. To prevent new white deposits, just spray the sink with vinegar from time to time, and that's it. Good luck. Behind the oven door, there is a hidden button that makes cleaning easier. Most people are unaware of it. Just pull it upwards to release the lock. Repeat the process on the other side. With the doors prepared in this way, they will be easy to remove. Next, grab them and lift them slightly. The hinges should come out on their own. There is a protective plastic on the oven door. Use a screwdriver to pry it open and then remove it. This way, you'll be able to disassemble and clean the glass. Not everyone knows that you can also remove the rack and glass when cleaning. Just pull them towards you with a firm motion. This way, you can thoroughly clean the oven walls. If you don't like scrubbing off burnt grease and food residues, use baking soda. It has excellent cleaning properties and is safe for health. Sprinkle it evenly over the doors and inside the oven using a sieve. A thick layer should cover the entire surface. Then, take a paper towel. Spread it in the areas covered with baking soda. Pour a cup of vinegar into a spray bottle. Screw it tightly. Spray the towels generously with it. They should absorb the mixture well. Both substances will react under the towels and start removing burnt food. Leave it all for 15 minutes. After that time, simply remove the towels and wipe the oven with them. All the dirt will stick to their surface, and you won't have to scrub. It can even handle tough stains. Pour aspirin with fabric softener. These two products work wonderfully together, and you'll stop wasting money on something you can make for half the price. To make it happen, here's what you need to do. Take three aspirin tablets. If you have expired aspirin tablets, use them. Place them on a piece of paper towel and wrap them. Crush them with a pestle. Pour the aspirin powder into a large container and add two cups of hot water. Dissolve the powder in water. 
Add three tablespoons of rubbing alcohol. Then add two caps of any fabric softener and two tablespoons of dish soap. Add another two cups of water. It can be cold. Mix well and pour everything into a bottle. I used an empty bottle from fabric softener. Make a hole in the cap with a wine opener. This will make it easier to use this liquid. You can also transfer the liquid to a bottle with a sprayer. Here's the best product for cleaning floors. If you have dirty panels, use it. This liquid removes stains and dirt. It disinfects the floor surfaces. At the same time, it smells nice. But its scent repels insects. You can also use it to clean the bathroom floor, especially for cleaning around the toilet. You can use it in any room and enjoy a clean, shiny floor. Plumbers don't want you to know this recipe. I sprayed the toilet with it, and I no longer have sewage problems. Don't throw citrus peels in the trash. It turns out they are a priceless ingredient. Chop them into smaller pieces and put them in a blender. Blend into a fine paste. They have cleansing properties. Then strain it through a sieve. Press it with a spoon to extract the juice. This is what we need. Add a tablespoon of baking soda to it. Then add three tablespoons of liquid soap and a tablespoon of salt. The next ingredient is alcohol. Add three tablespoons of it. When all these ingredients are combined, they create a truly effective mixture. Prepare a spray bottle. Using a funnel, pour the mixture into it. This prepared mixture is invaluable for sewer maintenance. It removes deposits and scale. This product can remove yellow stains from plastic toilet parts. It takes care of unclogging sewer pipes. It prevents the accumulation of deposits in their internal parts. It is also great for cleaning bathroom ceramics. The salt and soda in its composition disinfect. Citrus fruits whiten the surface. The bathroom is clean and fragrant. The sewer works efficiently, and you avoid exposure to toxic chemicals. Add salt to the dishwashing liquid. You definitely haven't tried this method yet. The results are amazing. You'll surely want to try this method at home right away. Measure 200 milliliters of dishwashing liquid and pour it into a container. It can be any liquid you use at home. Add two large tablespoons of salt. Salt is not just a seasoning, it is also a valuable agent for fighting dirt, deposits, and burnt residues. Also, add a tablespoon of baking soda. Baking soda not only cleans, but also disinfects. Finally, pour in 200 milliliters of water. Mix all the ingredients. When everything is mixed, pour the mixture into a bottle. Use a funnel for this. A bottle with a spout from any beverage works best. The mixture has its unique properties. Salt and soda added to the dishwashing liquid turn it into a super liquid. I mostly use it in the kitchen. When the bottoms of pots get slightly burnt and dirty, I use this liquid. This product will deal with them perfectly. It's perfect for that. You don't have to use a lot of it. The dishes will be clean and shiny. It's an inexpensive and simple recipe, but incredibly effective. Try it at home and you'll quickly see for yourself.